but I didn't know if I needed to put it in that to create a suction so that it would properly Necessary. spray. You think that's what's going on maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you, if you have extra air coming in, it's not gonna work. It's like using a straw but not closing your mouth. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be restoring some chairs that my dad actually gifted me way back in college. I've held on to these chairs. We've used them. My children have abused them. They are completely destroyed now, but we still using them, sitting in them and hoping and praying nobody falls through to the floor, okay? Um, we have one chair that is like completely destroyed and we try to seat the lightest person that visits it's the house or lives in the house in that chair which is my youngest it's the chair that she destroyed so she sits in it thank god she's lightweight okay because that chair cannot take a lot of weight bearing down on it and i'm going to show you why all right guys here is a look of um the chairs in the kitchen uh as you can see they are pretty bad so you can see all the way to the floor on this particular chair It's called being a mom and having kids and trying your best to let them live their life freely without choking them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it with the Extreme Bond Primer and go from there because I just don't feel like trying to sand this down and that would take forever. I already think that it's gonna take a very long time just to put the Extreme Bond Primer on, so yeah. Bring in the blurry lights All right, so as you can see I've managed to get one little fine layer of um, primer on with the brush, but it is proving to be quite tedious and I don't know that I'm gonna like the brush marks um once I am done and ready to put the black on. And I was really trying to not have to use a uh, spray painter, but I um, went ahead and grabbed these two um, power painters from the garage. Y'all, this one is so old. Look at that. It came with a how-to video on, what is this? It's not a DVD. What is that thing called? um VHS <laughs> so this goes to show you how old this is this is actually my dad's um spray painter and he bought this before I got married he spray painted my garage he and my brother spray painted my garage so this is so old and um so I gotta try to figure out if this is even gonna work or am I gonna have to buy a new one this is also my dad's. Hopefully I can use one of these. I really don't want to have to buy a painter. Hmm. Looks easy to me. I think the Wagner is going to be the best painter for the job. I don't know what this 2400 PSI is, but my paint can does say that I need... 2000 psi but i think this is going Ooh, and this has different speeds medium low and high so i think this wagner i think this wagner is going to be fancier than this sprayer here that came with the vhs let's take a look at what all the wagner has wow okay Oh boy, maybe I should call my dad and ask him. All right, so apparently I have run into a little bit of a problem. Do you guys see those tiny little holes right down in there? This um, is a suction cup that goes inside of the sprayer and um, it was never cleaned out. So, I believe this little part is very crucial. And um, it's either clean this out 
or buy another sprayer. So <laughs> I'm going to try to clean this out and see if it will work because I really don't want to buy another sprayer. So I did manage to find this brush cleaner um, and it also is supposed to clean tools. Let's hope this works, guys. Hey guys, it is the next day. I have just come in from the home store. I've uh, had to invest in a painter because the one that I worked on so hard last night trying to get it clean, it's just, it's, it's, it's not working. It's not working and it's stressful and I was really trying to save money because, you know, you know, inflation and everything costs way more. But, um... I had to buy a painter. Let me show you guys what I got. All right, so after staying up a long time trying to clean um, the spray paint gun that uh, I inherited from my dad, I, I didn't have much luck. But I did get the cap really, really clean. Look at that, guys. Really, really clean. Um, but yeah, I ended up going on out to uh, Lowe's and just buying a new spray paint gun and I'm about to roll from here. So here it is. I am in the process of reading the directions um, and trying to figure this out and I'm feeling really intimidated. I don't know why. I think it's because the sun is about to set and I really want to get this done. All right guys, let me show you what this one sounds like in comparison to the other Wagner spray painter. Listen to this. Doesn't that sound like it's broken, y'all? <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna go in the garage, grab my chairs, and we're gonna paint out there, and let's hope I can get this done in no time. I don't have much of this Extreme Bond Primer, which is like liquid gold right now because of the material shortage. Sherwin-Williams is not slated to get this stuff in. I should be putting my paint material in this bucket and screwing it on to the spray gun, but guys, I'm scared to do that. Because one, I don't even know if I have enough material to go in here and really fill it. And then two, um, I feel like after I'm done with the project, I'm gonna have paint in here that I don't want to waste, like, because I don't have much of this. So, I'm wondering if I can just kind of like hold my spray can and paint, or does it need to be like a tight seal for suction purposes? I don't know, this is like a question I should ask my husband, because he's like the math and science brain, and I'm just like the, DIYer that makes a lot of mistakes. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it my way just to see if I can avoid um, putting my paint in the can. Cause guys, I really don't have that much. Can you guys see? Um, so I'm gonna just try to hold it as tightly as I can. And uh, go from there. Oh wait, what is this? I really think I'm about to mess this up, but here we go. Oh, look at that, guys. It actually feels like a seal. Look at that, guys. It's fitting in there just like a really tight seal, so this may work. Okay, I'm nervous. Here we go. I'm Y'all, like, why am I scared to, like, press the button, the trigger? Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm scared to press the button. <laughs> okay. Nothing came out at all. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, maybe I'm supposed to press this on and shh. I bet you I'm supposed to turn this on and do that. <laughs> let's try it and see.
Y'all, this thing is not spraying at all. Maybe I need to thin the, um, maybe I should thin this, but it doesn't say that I need to thin it. Let's see. I need to go and get my manual and read some more. Babe, the paint's not coming out and, um, Yep, it does say that the urethane is a sprayable material. Position the spray gun perpendicular. Why is it not spraying at all? I need like one of those Wagner how to spray paint for dummy pamphlets. Like I don't want to read all of this, guys. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Babe. All right, so did you have the, the thing turned the right way? I don't know, but look, let me tell you what I am doing. I'm trying my best to not use that container there because I don't have a lot of paint. So I don't want to pour it in there and also waste mm -hmm. trying to get it out. Mm -hmm. So I thought, as I was telling the people. You can use the can? I can use the can and it sits perfectly on the can, but I didn't know if I needed to put it in that to create a suction so that it would properly spray. You think that's what's going on maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you if you have extra air coming in, it's not going to work. It's like using a straw but not closing your mouth. <laughs> I told you this is my math and science guy. So guys, my husband was right. It did need to be um, assembled with the sprayer container attached for suction purposes. <laughs> I was trying to not use the container and just have the sprayer come directly into the can. He used the analogy of, it's like, drinking with a straw or trying to drink with a straw, but not actually closing your mouth. <laughs> so we had to actually use um, the container and it was, I guess the science behind that was that it needed to be properly sealed for that suction. But um, I'm gonna take them out now and get them all uh, finished up. I think I'm gonna spray paint these in the backyard because the sun is shining pretty nicely today. I did not even consider the weather um, being a factor. So thank God it is a beautiful um, day. It's not too cold. It is supposed to be really stormy and rainy tomorrow. So this is a perfect day to go ahead and get these chairs moved outside and paint so that I don't have to use the garage again. Like I got paint on my husband's car. Here is um, the finished product. I am loving this color. It is tricorn black, so I did go blacker, um, and I love it. Sometimes when you apply too much paint, you can actually see it in the finish, but I think it took really, really well. Um, I think the seats look really good, so I'm happy about it. And um, I did a poll over on Instagram asking you guys if you think I should try to like refurbish these chairs or if I should get rid of it and you never know unless you try so always try to kind of refinish things or refurbish them before you give it away to goodwill um yeah I've got some fabric here and I've got it in a black and then I also have it in a a krypton uh, fabric. This is a high performance fabric, so this is going to be easy to um, clean. But the idea is that I'm going to take these grippers and I got them from Walmart. They don't fit perfectly, but I think they may work. I hope they'll work. <laughs> 